Fella. Roby waits, finds James Graham. Oh, a loose pass from Graham. And it's picked up by Sam Tunkins. Oh, that's an important tackle there from Gidley. Just delayed. Has he delayed the inevitable? Hawk here. Wants to get it away and does to Carmont. Over a minute remaining in this match in the first half. Carmont down the short side, taking on Gardner. Lulawai waits at dummy half. There's Tompkins. Smith hands it on to Prescott. He takes on Price. Price Go. tries to steal that ball. Go. Wonder if they're thinking about a possible drop goal here just before half time. No, they're not. They're thinking about four. And Tompkins will get the four. Joel Tompkins for Wigan. They were hanging around and loitering with intent down the centre of the field. And perhaps people were thinking about a one point. But Joel Tompkins wasn't. And Tompkins. He just ghosted through the defenders. Kyle Eastman operating at fullback had no answer to him, the strength and power of him. And he just brung the ball next to the posts. St Helens have a crisis meeting on behind their own sticks. And Wigan have their fourth try of this first half. And what a time to score it as well, just before the Hooter goes at half time. It was a shocking pass. Sam Tompkins got to it very quickly. But it's Joel Tompkins that came back on the angle. Just shows it. If you come away from the way that the defence is going to you, and that's what he's done, it makes the gap a lot wider. It was very brave as well. Oh, tremendous stuff, this. It was a fantastic pass from Tim Smith, wasn't it? And Richards will add the extras. So a mistake from Wigan. But with a 20 points lead, you just don't have to do that. Here comes St. Helens with Gidley. And Gidley, well, there's the pass then to Tompkins. And that's the, uh, the generosity return. Well, Saints have to do it. They know that uh, every second that goes by, when they're looking at the scoreboard. Very intelligent, wasn't it, from Sam Tompkins? He tried to put himself in the mind of Matt Gidley and think, what would I do if I was being carried towards the sideline? It, hence, anticipating what he thought Gidley would do, put him in the position to take the ball off his opponents. Here come Wigan again in the shape of Richards. And Richards has got Lillewai with him, and Lillewai will go over for another Wigan try. Improving the angle for the kick all the time. And Thomas Lillewai ensures that Wigan have got a massive hold on this match now. 80th appearance for Wigan Warriors. Great start to the second half. Wonderful play. You take your opportunities. Tompkins read it well. Back on the inside from Gidley. But they were very slow on the short blind side. Hawk was having a blinder. Darmont got him away. Richards. Long couldn't do it. Desperation. Just sheer speed. But what about the space that was allowed there by Pat Richards? He didn't even go up to second pace. Look at this. Just brings him across. Take your time. Luluai's on the inside. Great support play. They're giving same to battery. Yes, and Murrayfield holds happy memories for them. They won the Challenge Cup final here in 2002 against uh, the Saints. 21 points to 12. Known forever probably as the Radlinski final. The Wigan fullback uh, won the Lance Todd Trophy Award and he defied a hospital bed to uh, come here and uh, play his part in a, a very impressive win. But here goes Hardridge now for St. Helens. Once upon a time, a Wigan star himself, Bryn Hargreaves. Cunningham finds Sean Long. Long gives it to Leon Price. They're on the last tier. They're running it, St. Helens. Oh, the defence this time, Mills. And Leon Price gets over for the try. Not only that, Phil, is the fact that uh, because it is so long and lush, it doesn't skid away, it just plonks itself in there. Roby to Clough. St. Helens keep on coming, don't they? 
They won't know it's over till it's over, but um, I'm not suggesting for a moment that Wigan and their supporters should be biting their nails not yet. Here's Gardner. Escapes the clutches of Tompkins this time. Good strength from Gardner. Roby directing the operations now at Dummy Hart. Finds Fasabalu. He finds Long, but no, he doesn't. He only finds the ground and finds Leon Price. Price then back to Ashurst. Wide it goes to Paul Wellens. Wellens, still Wellens. And Wellens is over for the try. That took some scoring. And maybe it isn't over yet. Maybe we do have a sting in the tail for Wigan. Well, they start to the weekend, St Helens, three points clear. Hulkingston Rovers play last match tomorrow against the Warrington Wolves. Oh, this is going to be a try, is it, for Wigan? No, no, somehow St Helens keep them out. But that was a right model in defence from St Helens. Carmont, Carmont. Driving for the line, George Carmont. Well, there's one guy out there, you know, Andy Coley, he deserves to get over for a try. He hasn't scored one for, for years. This is uh, O'Loughlin. They might try to send him. being watched, as you saw, by the medical staff on the sideline for St. Helens. We'll get a report from Bill in a moment about A.D. Gardner as that man Coley just spins and gets the ball away. Well, he's uh, not scored since a defeat at Catalan Dragons last June, Andy Coley, and his next try will be his 80th. This is Lulawai. Wigan try to put the game to bed once and for all. Think it is their day. Not, not even St. Helens surely can score three in this short length of time. Valley has seen her. Ooh. I think he got it down. No, he's held up, the referee, Steve Ganson says. Ooh. Did he just touch the grass? We'll have to wait and see. I think that touched the grass. I think that should have been a try, shouldn't it? Well, this is the last tackle here for Wigan now. Tompkins sliding the kick in. That's the try for Richards. kick by Sam Tompkins he's played his part as well since he came off the bench no problem whatsoever when you watch a team effort like this you say to yourself there's a confirmation of the TRY it's the icing on the cake for the Warriors